Hi, my name is Wyatt Gross and welcome back to the Hammersmith DIY channel. In today's product review video, we're going to be talking to you about our range of round tapered legs. What we have in front of me here is a range of round tapered legs that we manufacture in our factory. But before I start talking about that, I wanted to uh, go back to where this all started because it's, it's quite an interesting story. So our business uh, started in 1946 in Adelaide, Australia, and uh, it started as a company originally making wooden souvenirs. And then in the next sort of 10 to 15 years, we moved into more of a wood turning market. And that was really where we stayed for the next 50 years, basically. And some of our early wood turning business was manufacturing uh, timber legs which went on the bottom of television sets. So when television first started in the 1950s here in Australia uh, everyone wanted to get a TV set and the, the TV sets back in those days were basically a wooden box and uh, they were a piece of furniture really. Uh, unlike today's TV sets where people uh, throw them out, you know a TV set in those days was something you, you purchased and as I said was a piece of furniture. And so on the bottom of these TV sets would be uh, legs, uh, timber legs and uh, they were either round or square, and, and we started manufacturing these legs for uh, Philips um, here in Australia, and they had a factory in Adelaide. Anyway, a few years back, uh, when we were sort of going through some old stuff in our factory, I came across this range of legs here. And this is an original packet dating back to the 1960s. And what they were called were slimline legs. Uh, if you can see here, uh, I haven't actually taken them out of the, the packaging, but uh, you can see through the packaging, it's basically a round tapered legs. This particular one, um, I can remove this slightly here. This particular one, this is what the leg looked like. And you can see they had a little uh, brass caster of a ferrule on the bottom. Anyway, um, that got me thinking because we had been getting quite a few inquiries from from furniture manufacturers about manufacturing round tapered legs. And, and we had been making them on a sort of an order by order basis. So I started thinking, well, we sell a range of, of cabriole legs. And if you check out one of our other videos we have with the cabriole legs, you can see that we, we have a number of different sizes. So it's got me thinking, well, maybe I could manufacture a range of round tapered legs in various lengths and sell that through our website. And so that's what we set about doing. And as a bit of a homage to the original name that we had of Slimline, I, I called this range the Slimline Leg Range. And it was made up of what you can see here, which is seven different legs. Uh, we have a, a, a 750 mil one, 600 mil, 450 mil, 350 mil, 250 mil, 150 mil, and 100 millimeters. They are the seven different legs that make, that make up the range. And what makes each leg, or what's part of each leg, is they taper from about, if you see on the end here, they taper from about 43 mil in diameter down to roughly about 20, 25 millimeters on the bottom. Uh, some of the legs are a little bit different just from a proportional point of view, but you can find the exact dimensions on our, on our website. But uh, so that's what we started producing. On the end there, you can see we've got like a little, uh, what we call a, a lag screw or a, a bolt. Uh, that particular thread size is 5 16th. And so we started manufacturing these legs. And so what my thought process was, we produced these legs, uh, called them the slimline, and they were available in, in two different timber species. They were available in the pine and then also on the Vic Ash, which you can see here. So if you have a look here, um, these are the two different legs. This particular one's 350 mil long, and you can see we've got a pine version and a hardwood, which is, as I said, Victorian ash, which is an Australian Australian timber. These legs uh, proved very popular, and we, we started selling a lot of them through our website, uh, either through to just DIY people or even furniture manufacturers. So then over a period of time, we started getting people saying, well, we like the legs, but could you manufacture them a little bit thicker? So we came up then with an idea of, well, why don't we reproduce the exact same range, but make them a bit thicker? So instead of they being 43 mil diameter, why don't we go to a bigger size, which is what we did. And you can see here, if I show you the end, this is what we call our regular line range. And if I just do a comparison, you can see the two differences. So the smaller one, as I said at the top, is 43 millimeters in diameter 
whereas the bigger one is 55 millimeters in diameter. And so we call this our regular line range and exactly the same, we have the seven different lengths, the 750, 650, 450, 350, 250, 150, 100. Seven different legs. Now in our slim line with 43 mil or our regular line, which is 55 mil in diameter. And once again, with the regular line range, we also manufacture these in both pine and Victorian ash. So these proved uh, popular for us and, and they've, they've been a, um, something that we've sold uh, regularly. Uh, you can find all these items uh, at our website, hammersmith.com.au. Uh, you can um, see the descriptions for all these uh, in the, below. I've got some links and that sort of thing. So yeah, you can buy all these through our website. Uh, they're really, really handy legs. Now, uh, one thing is to sell the legs, but we also started thinking, well, maybe we could offer some customers some, some methods of fixing these legs to the various pieces of furniture they might be making. So for example, you might be making a little coffee table. It could be a side table. Maybe you're putting them on the bottom of a, of a sofa or an ottoman or, 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 a, or a table or whatever the case might be, and you need some different fixing methods. So let's talk now about some of the different options we have for fixing. What we have in front of me here is a range of different accessories for these slimline and regular line legs. Uh, some of them are related to fixing the legs to the table, others are um, casters and that sort of thing. So let's just go through it very quickly, what we've got. Uh, in terms of a method of actually fixing the leg to a piece of furniture, whatever you may have, we've got basically uh, four different options here. I'll just move this one aside. We've got a couple of leg plates. And then we've got a couple of uh, T-nuts or insert nuts, depending on what you want, want to call them. The T-nuts and insert nuts, you can see here, quite, quite small. This particular one, the way this works is, you can see it's got a little thread on the outside here. What you would do is you drill a hole in the piece of furniture, and then you can see there's a, lot, there's a little hex bit there. You would then screw that up into the piece of furniture. That would be nicely held. And then, obviously what you would do is you just screw screw your leg on accordingly. So you could imagine that's gonna be screwed up into your piece of furniture there and the leg's gonna be nicely held on. That's quite a secure method of doing that. This one here is a little bit different. Uh, similar, similar principle, you would drill yourself a piece of, uh, drill a hole in your piece of furniture. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a, a hammer to actually whack that up in place. And you can see there, you've got a couple of little spikes on the end and that's gonna grip onto the piece of timber. Same thing again, that's your piece of furniture. You're going to then screw, screw that on, wind your leg on accordingly, right up till, uh, till, it, till it stops. So there are two methods you can use uh, for fixing these legs to your piece of furniture. There's also a couple of leg plates that we sell here. Now there's two different types. One is what we call our, our vertical leg plate for a leg to be straight up. The other one is an actual angled leg plate. You can see here it's on a slight angle. So, so similar to these sorts of uh, fixings, what you're going to do you're just going to use a couple of screws. We don't provide the screws, but anything from your local hardware store. If that was your piece of furniture, underside obviously, you're just going to screw that to your piece of furniture. And then what you're going to do, same sort of thing again, you're going to wind that leg on in place, and that's how you're going to mount it. Obviously the angled one provides a nice sort of alternative. When you screw the leg in, it can be on a nice, it can be on an angle. So there are two other methods of, of fixing the legs to the furniture. Once you've got your furniture, once you've got your legs actually fixed in place, then you have a couple of other options here. This particular foot uh, is an adjustable glide. Uh, what that will actually eat, what you can do with that. This one would work um, with the regular line legs, not so well with the slim line. And the reason for that is what you're gonna do with this little nut cert here, you're going to have to drill a hole and screw that into the bottom of your leg. My concern with the slim line is you can see the difference in size here. It's not going to leave much room and you would potentially split the leg. So what would be better is to use the regular line which has a bigger diameter. So when you drill a hole and screw that in place into your leg, then this adjustable glide here screws up like so. So the point of that would be obviously if you had a leg with an adjustable glide on it, the beauty of that because this glide actually um, pivots, probably hard for you to see here, you know, you should be able to see that. Because this glide actually pivots, if you were using one of these angled leg plates, which has the leg on an angle, it just means that the glide is going to sit nicely on the ground. 
The beauty of these adjustable glides is then you can wind them in or wind them out accordingly. So if your surface that your table is on a little bit uneven, um, you can adjust this accordingly to get a nice even uh, surface. So that's what this glide is for. And it's basically used in combination with uh, this sort of nut cert, or you could still use this particular nut cert here. Though I would recommend this one better just simply because it's a better fit into the bottom of these legs. The other options we have here is a couple of, uh, a couple of casters that we sell. Uh, one is uh, in, in a brass or gold finish, the other one is in, in a chrome finish. You can see with these casters that they actually come uh, with, a, with a coarse thread lag screw and with some uh, small holes on the bottom. So what you would do here obviously is you would uh, drill a hole in the bottom of your leg, screw that in place and then you would just fix it by a couple of small little screws into these holes like so, so that then obviously you have a caster on the bottom of your leg. If you had a bigger piece of uh, furniture, they're also, they come with these cover plates. The idea behind them is they just go on like so, and it's just another method. You know, for example, if you had a, a bigger leg, a square base leg, um, you could, um, you know, just it's another method of, of, of decorating the bottom. So they're just a range of different uh, accessories that we have. Uh, that goes with our, our slim line and regular line legs. Um, and yeah, we, it's something that, you know, dating back, as I said, dating back to the original 1960s when we started selling these legs, it's funny to think that here we are, what's that, 60 years later, and uh, what is old is now new again. If you've enjoyed today's video, remember to hit the like button below and feel free to drop me a comment and I'll answer any of your questions you may have. Also, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button below and also remember to turn the bell notification on so you know when any new videos land. This is Wyatt Groth, signing off.